Hello everyone. So I just wanted to do a quick uh, mail opening. So we got a mail call today. It's Saturday, Saturday the 5th, I believe, of April. Are we in April? Yeah, we're in April. And uh, I just wanted to see how these guys pack this. This looks like a pretty good package right here. Uh, this is from, these are both from eBay. So we're just going to crack these open and see how they packed them because everybody packs their cards a little bit differently. All right, so there we go. And we get ourselves a nice little letter here. It looks like an eBay invoice, which is always kind of nice. And it looks like, uh, yeah, got some scalding tarn. And a few other things. So, scalding tarn, cavern souls. Let's crack this open. Now, the scalding tarn they, uh, is from 2017 Master's Edition. And I believe the uh, cavern is as well. The seller was telling me that there was a little bit of fading. Uh, on these now, I believe the other package is another cavern or soul, so we'll be able to take a look and and see what everybody thinks. Um, yeah, there's definitely a little bit of fading, but the cards feel legit. Uh, the backs are fine. I I would call these legit cards, but that's why we have our trusty little jeweler's loop to double check, of course. So we turn the light on, and we do the first test. We always do is through the highest magnification. We take a look at the lettering, and the reason we're taking a look at the lettering is because fake cards have basically blurry letters. And the reason for that is um, when they do any kind of magic card, they print it on a two-step process. The first step is where you'll see in very high magnification, uh, and you gotta get real in tight there to see it. Uh, you would see basically like a crisscross pattern, the uh, what they call the the criss cut, if you will. I'm not actually seeing that on, these, on this card. I don't know if the Master Series is a little bit different. This is different. Um, on every other card, though, let's see, you do see it, so that's interesting to me. Oh, okay, I can see it, it's just that um, through the camera it's a little bit difficult because of lens, yeah. So if you see that little tiny cross stitch, that is what I'm talking about right there. And it's a little more pronounced on different cards, but um, you can typically see it, uh, especially, yeah, there you go. So see that, that cross stitch right there, the little dots in the, the black and the blue? That's what you want to be seeing. That's very, very difficult to actually uh, forge. So when they tell you they're looking for the cross stitch, that is what I'm talking about. You have to do it under very high magnification. And then, of course, you're also looking at the lettering. Now, real quick, I just want to show you what a fake looks like because they're tough to tell. Um, there's some that are incredibly easy to tell, but I actually, about a month ago, got a fake duel in off of an eBay auction and if I wasn't magnifying it, I would not know. Now, I always label anything. Um, this is basically for education purposes only. I never play this. I never trade it. Um, but the feel of it, actually, yeah, the feel is a little different. Uh, but if, you're, if you have it in a, uh, a sleeve, no one would ever know, right? So the backs was the first identifier that I noticed. Look at the difference in backs. Now, the backs of Magic cards have been the same forever. So the fact that, yeah, you never see that. The fact that this is a different shade of blue, bluish purple, is a dead giveaway, that this is darker, dead giveaway. Let me give you an example I have, if you're thinking maybe it's just the older cards. Let me pull up another duel. So here's another duel. And I'm gonna just show you briefly. See the difference? Yeah, that's pretty obvious. And this is a legit duel right here. Um, you can kind of tell just by just eyeballing it right there. But we were telling you about magnification, so I'll do the same and bring it in real close to show you the magnification difference. Remember on one of these, where you see how crisp that lettering is? Now take a look at this fake and look at the same lettering. And as you get real close, you see how that's broken up? You see that? And it's kind of blurry and dotted now you see the criss cut pattern, they did manage to fake that, but the lettering is not clear or clean at all. It is very broken up, which means that they were printed at the exact same time they printed the, the dot matrix, the criss cut pattern, whatever they call it. So therefore, as you look at it, uh, you know, if you're just looking at it on the naked eye, you may not notice a difference. But going one more time to this uh, actual duel, when you look under with the criss cut pattern, you're looking at See how clean that is? See those letters? Very clean, very pronounced. 
that tells you, and you can even see, because they only print the letters, the actual letters of the, uh, of the text in a second printing. But the, the, the symbols, they print at the same time, because that's part of the, the graphics. So literally everything but the lettering is printed all at once. You can see this with the lands. See how the lands are printed at the same time? Of course, the picture is. You go up to Badlands, it's printed at the same time. All of it, except for the lettering. And one more time, I'll show you the fake now. You see the lettering, and you gotta bring it in for magnification, but you see how that's broken up like that? That identifies a fake card. So that's how, well, that's one of the major tests that is done. Uh, of course, looking for the Chris Cut pattern, and then when we check the backs, the backs look pretty good, and you can definitely see on this as well, uh, the backs and, and the, uh, the dot matrix or the pattern that you're looking for. You see that under high magnification? And then other things, uh, a very popular one is the light test. Now, it's very difficult to do a light test when it's this bright out, and of course it's bright because, well, <laughs> I'm filming. But I can take this high-powered light that's back here, put it behind there. You can actually, if we make it a little bit darker, see that? That is because of how, and you should be able to see the Magic logo through the back. That is because Magic cards are very, very thin cards. And it's difficult, you need very uh, unique machines to uh, make a card that's this thin and is a legit magic card, where a lot of times your fakes are gonna be just, just a little bit thicker, and that's, that's where they typically fail, is the close-up inspection of the lettering, making sure the dot matrix looks right, and then the, uh, the light test. Uh, of course, there's bend tests and other things, but I prefer not to bother with it as long as it passes the, the first few tests. So it looks like it's a legit card. It just has a little bit lighter um, inking here, which is a, a defect of magic, of wizards, basically. Some of their, some of their um, companies that they, they lease through and they have print cards, sometimes they don't make, you know, the, they don't, they're not always uniform in, in how they make their cards. So sometimes you'll see that their, their cards are off-center. Sometimes you'll just see random crimping, crimping going on. Uh, and sometimes the ink doesn't come all the way through. And apparently that was... Uh, very common with both uh, uh, with 2017 Masters Editions. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so that's package one. I'm going to call those legit. And they've been inspected on camera. And then package two, I believe, is another Cap of Souls. Should be. And I always hate this. I, I, know, I know it's something that people do and whatever. It's just obnoxious. There's just better ways to cards and sleeves and stuff. I think I've done it too, to be honest. Okay. Ah, there we go. Old school Cavern of Souls. That's right. All right. So we've got ourselves some old school, new school, obviously different art altogether. Uh, but you can just tell immediately how different the uh, the texture is. Or not the texture, The uh, when the ink is fully on there. So yeah, this would be a faded, but it is an authentic 2017 Masters. So let's take a quick look at just one of these on camera. And there we go. So we uh, bring the little light right on up to, there we go. And yep, that definitely looks like it was printed in a two-step process, which is very difficult to forge. And if, as we get a little closer, you can even see the dot matrix or, you know, I know it's called, a, it has a name and I, I keep naming it wrong, the Chris Cut pattern. Uh, that definitely looks authentic there. And let's do the light test. I'll put the light right behind. We'll give you a little bit of shade. There we go. And yep, you should be able to see the light, no problem. Now, what you're looking for in a thicker card, just compare it to any regular magic card, because they're all printed in the exact same manner. Uh, and then just do the light behind it, and then do the light behind the one you think is a fake. You will notice a difference if it is a fake in general, because it'll be a little bit thicker, it'll be a little bit harder to see the light. And um, yeah, those are some of the most easy to use tests. Of course, the bend test is basically saying that when you bend a magic card like this and it's authentic and it goes from uh, tip to tip, it will then go back exactly as it's supposed to with no permanent signs of damage. Um, and that is true of any of the magic cards. Uh, the one exception being that people just don't want to bend their cards because if they were, if they bend them too much or, you know, if you bend it back and forth a hundred times, yes, you will definitely end up with a crimped or, or damaged card. But every once in a while, just to show it off, uh, no problem there. So yeah, so we have uh, some Cavernous Souls, Scalding Tarns. These will definitely be going up for prizes, possibly for trivia, raffles, all sorts of ideas. But uh, thanks for checking that out. I just wanted to explain what, um, what it's like detecting fake cards and magic and 
those are some of the easiest ways. There are blue light tests. There's some other ways that people like to try to um, uh, discern if something is fake or real. But so far, these are some of the easiest and best tests to use. Uh, you just got to get yourself a $10 jeweler's loop. All right. Thanks for checking us out. Have a great day.